Could Elrond be ready to explode? Let's get into it. So Chris, Elrond price prediction, E-Gold could be primed for a 60% explosion in the coming weeks. Um, as we get into this, guys, if you find it useful, informative, hit that like button. We both really do appreciate it. And of course, if you're new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed, where have you been? This is the place to be. Subscribe and you will be kept up to date with all of the videos and live streams that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. It is free. You'll be kept informed. So why not? Right, Chris, anything you want to add before we jump over to the desktop and see exactly what is going on here with Elrond? Uh, no, I've, I kind of feel like, you know, it's been a while since we've done a, an Elrond video and uh, things are looking primed, Nick. They are primed. Yeah, let's do it. So Elrond price prediction. Um, E-Gold token is primed for about a 60% gain in the coming weeks. So this is an interesting, uh, you know, kind of, price prediction that we're going to go through. We're going to have a look at the chart and we're going to see exactly what's going on. But you know, ultimately, Elrond uh, and the E-Gold price has taken uh, you know, a bit of a toll recently. Uh, and I think most people are aware of the sideways trading that has happened. But you know, taken from an inter-week analysis, you, know, you could say that it's crashed almost 60% in February. However, if you uh, actually review the weekly closed uh, candles, then actually, you know, eGold corrected only 15% during the month. And in February, the two down weeks specifically, uh, they registered losses of just 9% and 6.9% on a closing basis. So a complete contrast to the interweek numbers. Um, and, you know, it did alert traders that potential selling pressure was exhausted in the, you know, the big shakeout, if you will. So, you know, ultimately, Chris, the Elrond price is contained in a well-defined price range. And um, you know, when the price advances almost 900% over nine weeks, there is, uh, you know, <laughs> I guess, little to be done. There will be a significant deviation from the mean. And, you know, in this case, Chris, uh, the 10-week simple moving average, the SMA, um, you know, and at the February high of $217, Elrond price was almost 300% above that 10-week SMA. So, you know, by far the largest deviation from the moving average since eGold started trading, which is pretty major news. And, you know, the major decline was also a reaction to the extreme condition. Um, so lots to kind of really think about. And today, the 10-week SMA is only 8% below the price and now becomes a major support level for you know any Elrond price weaknesses moving forward, whilst giving traders a good risk level for trading. So if there's any traders out there, they'll be looking at these simple moving averages and thinking, okay, there's a you know, an eight percent kind of potential risk here, and um, there's sometimes a, a manageable risk, right, to your reward. So really good stuff. And ultimately, the volume trend is also complementary to the bullish narrative. Uh, there's, uh, you know, it has steadily declined over the last four weeks. And this is something that we talk a lot about, Chris, on our live streams and, um, you know, in pretty much all of our videos when we do chart analysis. The volume decreasing is actually a really good sign when you're doing a bit of a price correction because it allows you to protect as much of that price as possible um, whilst still correcting your relative strength index. So really, really good stuff going on there. And, you know, it does affirm the interpretation that the selling pressure just ultimately is um, exhausted. Um, so you know, the only obstacle that really remains in front of a renewed advance is the lingering overbought condition. And um, we'll get into what that might look like in a moment. In an ideal scenario, um, you know, Elrond price um, could continue to trade sideways for a couple more weeks to realize the overbought condition and then launch the breakout above $168. Now, of course, uh, after a daily close above $168, the Elrond price and the eGold token price should swiftly advance to the all-time high area of about $217, locking in um, somewhere around that 60% gain from the current trading level. So, you know, a really ambitious um, outlook. And of course, you can be more bullish with this, Chris, because if we start looking ahead towards our first 618 extension area within our chart, 
we'll see that actually that's targeting $330. So there's plenty of room to the upside here. Um, so I think, Chris, there's a lot of potential for Elrond. So let's talk a little bit more about our chart here and get into a little bit more of the detail. So what we can see is that the volumes are incredibly low, as I was just talking about. We can see that the RSI was overbought and has corrected quite nicely on this daily chart. And as we get into the four hourly, we'll also confirm that. Here we have that 50 moving average, not the 10, but the 50, and we're bouncing and acting as support here as we were over here. Most recently that has broken down, but nonetheless, we are a short step away from that 8% uh, on the 10 moving average. So still lots of room there as well. Now, if we pull this down into our four hourly candle, here, uh, sorry, four hourly chart, what we can do is we can see how we've corrected this RSI into a pretty good spot as well. It's currently below 40. So the lower this thing goes, the higher swing we're going to get to the upside. And of course, the volumes are also still decreasing nicely as well. We are also below all of our moving averages here on this chart, which is the 50, the 100 and the 200 moving averages. And so this actually puts us in a pretty sweet spot um, moving further forward as well, because once you're below average, there's generally only one place to go, and that's to kind of get back up into the average zone and maybe even break up above that. So it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out. Now, if we pull this down into our one hourly view, it shows us the most linear and uh, granular detail that we'd like to do on this show. This is showing us that actually this RSI is almost oversold, which means there's a, nowhere else to go but up. So as we do this, we can see the volumes are incredibly low, again, ready and poised for a massive breakout. And we can see that here within our RSI as well. Again, being below those moving averages, that's the 100, the, the 50 and the 200 moving average there. Um, there is only really one space to go. And we have found good support in here at around this area here on the Fibonacci, which is the 50% retracement zone of $125. And obviously we want to get that breakout of 168. And if we get above there, we're going to be in a pretty good spot as well, Chris. Now, if we pull this back out to our daily, what we can do is we can see um, that what we want to do is actually get up here and get close in that 786 area. If we get this, it'll be a short hop to that 217 all-time high area. And then from there, what we're going to do is actually go after that first price target of $330. That's the explosion that we're kind of talking about here, guys, because I think Elrond is going to start seeing some massive gains um, be printed once again. Everything seems to have corrected nicely. The volumes have come down significantly. The RSI is in a really good low position. So now all you need is those traders to get the right kind of signals, and this thing is off to the races. But Chris, is there anything you would like to add? Just that, you know, um, there was lots of hype and I think a lot of people bought into to like a $1,000 and $10,000 uh, e-gold. And like, I do think that is going to happen. But, you know, we've been saying on this channel, you know, the whole time, you know, we haven't seen charts like it. Um, you know, we, we got in rather early. We got a lot of that growth. Um yeah, it's it's one of those people just they need to understand that you you know things don't just continue to go up. It's healthy to have some corrections. We've had had that now, I feel, and a bit of sideways movement, you know, with the traders and stuff. And I think, you know, once the confidence comes back, um, I think this one will will go on a another um, you know, ride up, uh, in my opinion. Absolutely. And again, we're seeing significant numbers within the Fibonacci extension levels as well. So the uh, potential of uh, the e-gold token uh, is uh, is quite phenomenal, really, if there's something that was uh, very affordable back in the day. Um, so we're still seeing, Chris, uh, well over $800 at the top end of our Fibonacci. So plenty of room for growth in the near future as well. So hopefully guys, you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please do hit that like button because we both really do appreciate that. And of course, if you're new to the channel and you're not yet subscribed, do go ahead and subscribe because by subscribing, you'll be kept up to date with all of the videos and live streams that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. You'll be kept well informed, so why not? Uh, and with that said, we hope everyone has a fantastic day and we'll catch you all in the next one. Yeah, take care.